Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Young King, and welcome on back to Let's Play Pokemon Y for the 3DS, as usual. Uh, I'm Mr. Young King, as usual, and last time we took on the Silage City Gym, and this time we're moving right along to using, or to, yeah, to using, to Route 10. Now, first thing I want to do that I didn't do last time, that I really should actually do here, real quick, is teach somebody, um, well, not Rock Smash, but Strength. Let's teach somebody Strength here. Uh, I'm thinking I might use it on Stompy, because I don't think Stompy has many good, like, normal moves here. So let's teach it to Stompy real quick, and we can use that then to, um, uh, to what's it called. Let's give her a Leech Seed, to, to, because we have some, we have some boulders we have to move. That's what I wanted to say, but let's start by doing today. So this should be, I think this is coming out Friday, right? It's crazy to think that we're right at the Friday. I turned off system sounds, because I didn't want to capture that, but it turned itself back on. Let me double check that there, because that's that's weird. It did turn itself back on. I'm gonna turn that down to zero. There we go. Yeah, now we can't hear it at all. So, okay, that's that's enough of that there. But I got everything uh, up here. Uh, today, I've got a pretty defined thing of what I want to do here. I pretty much just want to get through Route 10 and take a look at the next town. Because the next town is actually important later on in the game. Right now, it's just kind of like a stepping stone per se. It's not really a big town. It's just kind of something that happens. But let's go ahead and use strength so we can get a item up here. We have a little bit of a pushing puzzle here. Let's go ahead and do this. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to record yesterday, actually, but I ended up feeling like junk. Like, I, I didn't feel good at all. So I was like, okay, I'll hold off on recording today. And we can uh, record today then, which is what you're seeing right now. And uh, like I said, I'm actually pretty excited. I've, I've watched a video, though, because I haven't watched a video since I started this on how long this game is. And this game's actually pretty long. I, I, I forgot about everything that happens in this game, like even between like this and the final battle. Luckily, there's not much side grinding to do because of how long it is, but it's definitely worth uh, doing it. But let's see. Thunder Wave. All right, let's go. I know there's a few items I need to pick up here. I should have opened up a map. Also, a few interesting Pokemon we get here, but let's go ahead and start fighting here. This place is flying with power. I often come here to recharge. Well, there you go. I probably should have opened up the map. Oh well, let's go ahead and take on Psychic Robert and take out Solstice. This is like such a weird looking Pokemon. Solstice has always been such a weird Pokemon to me though, but let's go ahead and get Lizzie out here. I was trying to think of what Pokemon I've used or haven't used in um... Wait, is that Furry type? Oh, it is. Okay. Whew, it's just uh, just a Psychic. But think about what Pokemon I used in my last and I was like, I, I swear to God, I, I had, you know, played another Pokemon game since X and Y here. I guess I haven't. I guess last time I did was like silver, like way back at the start of the channel. So it's like, dang. Let's see. Oh, that was it. Just, just solstice. All right. I think the levels are incredible. We received one thousand Poke dollars, dude. All right. Well, let's keep going here then. Uh, give me one second here. Let me actually open up a map real quick. So I'm very bad. Okay, and I'm back here. So I got up the map now. So I know where all the items are now, which is kind of nice. So I, there's only about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about seven trainers here. Uh, so it should be that long of a route. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do this and then also the next town over so I can start right at the next route next time. Uh, let's see, we got Skip Loom. Let's go ahead with Ember. We really need to learn some new fire moves because Ember is not that strong of a fire move. Especially for like level 20s now where we're at. Actually, we're almost level 30 for that matter. Holy crap. As a Marrero, yeah, we're gonna switch Pokemon here. Who do we want though? Let's see. Let's bring out Stompy. I feel bad because we haven't had a Talon Flame out for a while. Well, Talon Flame, you know what I mean. We haven't had out our. Uh... Is it wait? Is it a Talon Flame at the second evolution? I forget. But oh well. Let's go ahead and take out As a Marrero here. Let's go with Vine Whip though. I'm pretty sure Vine Whip is better than Razor Leaf. I don't know. Cause like, see, in Gen One, like Razor Leaf is like super strong. But the problem is that like I, like like you look at Surf and Gen One, Surf Surf and Gen One's just like broken for like everything. Like you can literally take out an Electric type using Surf and Gen One, but like this one, it's just like you know Surf is whatever. I don't know. Like all the items just get moved around here. Hey, Cookie leveled up. Let's go. Razor Wind. Yeah, I want to learn Razor Wind. What's it do? Let's see. Two turn attack, Blades of Wind hit, opposing Pokemon. Second turn, critical hits land more easily. Uh, absolutely, I want to learn that. Let's see, what should we get rid of? Yeah, let's let's get rid of agility because I don't really need agility. He's already fast. Like agility is just like if you really want to make sure like 100% you're going first. That's pretty much it. Amarara grew to level 23 and Lizzie grew to 27. Let's go. Stun sparse, stun sparse, stun sparse. Do I have anything good against stun sparse? 
Um, I guess I'll leave out Stomping C. I don't think I have anything good against Dunsparce, honestly. Let's see. Um, let's just use Strength here. The normal types will do damage. I just... Because what is Dunsparce? He's like a bug... Something? I have no idea what Dunsparce is, dude. Oh my god. So I'm curious to know if maybe, maybe like, Vine Whip would do a lot of damage. I don't know. Do not make him go to sleep, dude. Do not make him go to sleep. I should be able to kill him this turn. Also, I'm fast. That's the nice thing about having uh having him out. It's like he's just so fast. Having Stompy out. He's one fast boy. Hey, there we go. Level 24. How's he level 25? How do I have such a like large array of like different levels? And Stabby's 22. Let's go. Aerial Ace. Yes, I do want to learn that. That's actually a good move for him to you know. Um Let's go ahead and get rid of Fury Cutter, because Fury Cutter is not that good, but Aerial Ice is that's strong. That's a strong attack. Yeah, let's go. And Sleepy Grew to 28. Alright. Wants to learn Fling. What is Fling? Oh, it's a dark move. I didn't the item. Oh, it flings its held item. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even. I don't want to, like, fling my item at it. <laughs> yeah, forget. No, no, no. I want to give up on learning it. Oh, my gosh. All right, there we go. This is only the second trainer this route, dude. Oh, my God. This is going to be a long route if I, if every trainer takes this long. Holy cow. Anyways, yeah, today is, today is Saturday, like I said, though. It's been a nice, relaxing Saturday here. I woke up and just kind of chilled. Mind plate. I guess that's something to make certain moves less vigorous few years back this really strange dude named Cor uh Colores told me that these big stones emit some kind of special energy oh is that maybe the big evolution because i actually had to get a reminder on myself of what i was even doing here i forgot that what i'm doing is trying to figure out about mega evolutions <laughs> i'm just like yeah i guess that's right we should be doing mega evolutions all right what do we have here is there something here or no okay oh okay i see her Stop right there. I remember you were the one who foiled our fossil finding plan. And now you're here standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says, wait, oh, whatever. Who cares about all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge. All right, well, let's go. So here we go. Take on Team Flare once again. With Houndor. Well, I'd shoot out the wrong. I guess like, I mean, honestly, God, the thing about it is like Lizzie's a good starter, honestly, just to get everything going since one there. She's a high level. And second of all, she does Dragon Rage, which just kind of destroys everything, honestly. Dude, don't switch me out. That's fine. That's fine. We can literally take him out with uh, strength. He's fast. I was going to say, Hounder is not going to outspeed this guy. So there you go. Don't know what he was thinking there, but hey. When life gives you lemons, dude, you know? Fresh team gains XP. Yeah, I know we're gonna get any levels this uh this round since we literally just like got so many levels the last round. Alright, let's go with Stabby. Let's see Stabby take on some uh some um gold bats here. Cause we haven't used Stabby much. Like we use Stabby a bit, but like Stabby is such a cool Pokemon. I really like him. Uh in this game. But let's go ahead and use Aerial Ace. Do not confuse, dude. Why do you use confuse Ray? Why, I swear to God, every time I have Stabby out, Stabby immediately becomes confused. Like, this is every time I pull out Stabby. I really should stop pulling out Stabby. He's just going to get confused all the time. Yeah, and then he's going to flinch. Yeah, okay, let's see. Is that, wait, that's super effective? Really? Why is that super effective against Steel? Okay, yeah, I, unfortunately, I can't use Stabby here. Uh, but let's go with... Um... I'm just gonna go with the old, the old Dragon Rage, I guess. Might as well pull out the old Dragon Rage, you know? But I've been, anyways, I've been toying with the idea, honestly, of uh, of uh, starting another Let's Play here in a bit here. But I haven't gotten anything down. Like, it would probably be like a shorter one anyways. Like a short, um, short, like, I don't know, a short platform or something. I was thinking about, like, one of the old Kirby's, since I have, like, the... NES games and all that on my switch here. So might as well try that sometime That's gonna be a two hit. Let's go. Also, I gotta pull some soda pops here I may use some soda pops because everybody's kind of getting low here At least stabby gains some XP there. I feel bad. Like I said, I can't do anything with stabby here. Jeez You better beat me again, but I will lose. I will go out in style You received 920. Dude, you only give me 920. That guy back there gave me like a thousand for like an easier fight Okay, I lose again to a little punk like you. What are you some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Pretty much 
Oh, he's getting a call. Gotta love the holocaust, right? I can get updates on my mission in real time. Stylish device. Whoever uh, thought this thing up must have been one of the true must have been one truly stylish individual. On that note, it's time for me to scram. That was an easy way. That was just that's an easy way to move on to that. Let's go ahead and heal you up. So let's restore you with some sooty pops. Where are you at? Yeah, just heal him up. No, 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 I don't need any more. And let's uh let's heal him up too. Might as well. No, not you don't need an antidote, dude. Alright, let's get back here to the main the main screen now. Let's keep going, because we got we got a few more, we got about a few more uh trainers. I don't think this is a trainer. There are more and more of those big rocks as you get closer to Geocentrian Town. Okay. And that town, like I said, actually does become important later on. I can feel the energy of these stones enhancing my already potent uh psychic moves. I don't know what to tell you, dude, but alright. Meditite. Meditite. I like Meditite. I, I used them in Ruby. I know I said this in an earlier episode, but I used them in my Ruby and Sapphire playthrough a while back, and just he's fine. He's he's not the best, but like he's absolutely fine choice if you have no other fighting moves. Or psychic. Oh my god, he's psychic fighting, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he's psychic fighting. But look at that one hit. Curalia. Cur <laughs> Oh my god, I, I always forget that's what the name of this thing is. Anyways, we'll take it down in one hit, watch. That's an effect. Are you kidding me? Is it a fairy type or what? Well, that's unfortunate. Let's uh let's do this then. Let's just melt him with an ice move. Oh wait, no, dragon dragon's weak to ice. Oh I'm an idiot. Oh well. I'm sure Amura can still pinch one out here. Let's go. Unless it does that, don't double team me, dude. Some of these battles, though, I'm telling you, take forever. It's like crazy. I'll uh, use Aurora Beam. Let's see if that does anything. I always remember when I first played this, I thought it was so cool. Because it kind of reminded me of um, playing like Pokemon Stadium, but it was like a full fledged Pokemon game in 3D now. And it was like, oh man. It's just always so cool to me. I loved it. So freaking cool. Ooh. And Lizzie Grudel 28. I may have to switch out Lizzie. Fire Fang. Thank you, yes. Let's get rid of smoke screen finally, and now we got some actual good fire moves here. And Lizzie learned Fire Fang, let's go. And they earned XP as well. Should I put our Amara in front? I may put our uh, Amara in front here and just see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure I have another team flare fight coming up here, so let's, oops. Let's go ahead and switch uh, Amara up front here. And let's just do that, yeah. Let's grab this item over here. I do like that you don't have to go through like the like grass at all here. I realized like I've not like touched the grass once here. It's kind of unfortunate because I haven't seen any Pokemon here then, but maybe I can come back and take a look here in a bit. Oh, you see what they are, but yeah, here we go. Another team flare grunt, dude. Hey, you see we adults are busy. Don't interrupt our work, kid. All right. Just don't leave the hound or dude. Don't or do that. Electrite. Ah, I see. I like trying to involve with Thunderstones, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they're level-based. Because otherwise I would catch one. I'm sure you could probably catch one here, but... It's like that, I know, uh, though, um... So I, I, when I played through Sword, Sword and Shield here, I played, uh... Using one of those, like... Little Corgi... Electric Corgi dogs. I swear to God, like, electric types are always dogs of some sort. Well, I guess Zebras, too, in black and white, but... Most of them are dogs, dude. Stop being dogs. At least Pikachu's a rat. Although everything's an electric rat now too, and based off of Pikachu. Oh man. All right, let's see. There's Team XP share. Stabby Guru 23. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Pro Gunk. What do I want for Pro Gunk? Let's go Stompy, because I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's a Water type. If nothing else, we can outspeed it and use Strength, so that's easy enough. Yeah, this one. Or maybe it's part Poison. I don't remember. Let's see if it's effective. It's not. Okay. Well, then strength it is. Strength she be. Because I, th I thought you could use uh, grass types on it. But strength strength is easily, you know, good enough. Plus, he's also fast. So we're good. And there we go. Team Grunt is down again. Team Flare Grunt is down again. That's how you're going to be. I'll just stop working. <laughs> Received 840p for that pokey dollars. All right, let's keep on going here. People in ancient times must have been incredible. Hmm, maybe I should say that if it was uh, the Pokemon in ancient times that were incredible.
Maybe. I'll also take it. Honest to God, you don't have to fight many random. I keep on fighting all the same people on the um routes here simply just because I really kind of need, you know, to make sure I have enough XP to finish the game here. And that's the thing about this game is if you just fight the trainers, you pretty much are set. But let's see here. So we got a gulp and one of our beams should finish it off pretty easily here because it should be super effective. It's a grass type, right? It's not. It's poison. I have forgotten this. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep using that Rarbeam. Wait, I should've... Why did I use Takedown? I forgot this guy knows Takedown. Takedown's like eons better. Amnesia. Oh, special defense. I was about to be like, okay, well, yeah, well, let's go Takedown because I will finish him off. The only problem with Aurora is it doesn't have very high uh, physical attack. So usually Aurora Beam and Ice spells are gonna do much better. Hurt with Recoil, yeah, it's fine. And I defeated the Team Grunt, Team Flare Grunt. I want to say Team Grunt all the time, oh my god. There we go. But you'll see these episodes do kind of get a bit longer, because I do want to try and finish at least a route here. Oh, I got a random encounter. I didn't realize that. What do we got here? Oh, it's a whole group of Nose Pass. I don't like Nose Pass that much, honestly. I'm going to be real with you. I don't like Nose Pass. Ever since I saw them in like Gen 3 when they first introduced them, I've always been like, that's kind of weird looking Pokemon. Oh, we had one more. I didn't even see it. To have a battle at a famous sightseeing spot? Oh, this would make for a great memory. It probably would, honestly. Like, you're not wrong in saying that. You're challenged by Taurus Tomoko. Drifloon. Yikes, yikes. Don't grab one of those strings, kids. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see here. There we go. Let's go ahead. No, I didn't want to use Takedown, dude. It's not even going to do anything. It's a ghost type. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to use that. I mean to use Aurora Beam. So he's accidentally selected Rock Attack here. Oh my gosh. Getting pumped up. That's fine. We can probably two hit it here. Oh my god. Or one hit it. <laughs> Easy enough. I've never used Drifloon. You can catch it. I know in Gen 4 that's where they were introduced finally. Because I finally played like Shining Diamond and all that. Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Is this a, this is a ground type? Okay, yeah. So is ice good against ground or is it? I think it's just normal against ground. Let's see. I like I never know what all ice is good against. Or is it or is ice super effective against ground? Okay, yeah, we'll we'll take that. We'll take all these W's here. Air shoot. Well, let's see. Oh. Well, you know what? It's been working so far. Let's go ahead and finish it off with another uh another beam here. Now let's just see what we got. Oh, a critical hit. Okay, <laughs> and it got hit too. Oh my god, I don't think I don't think uh, Amira can actually get hurt by the sandstorm because it already has rough skin. As long as it doesn't get paralyzed, we're set. Yeah, there we go. No. Oh wait. Okay, got buffed. Whew. Almost, a, almost was bad, but hey, you know what? We pulled it out. But there you go. That is, and that is Route Ten, and it's complete there. And Cookie grew, leveled up again. Cookie leveled up twice. Oh my god. We got a lot of levels this uh, episode already. Jeez. And there we go. That is Route 10 pretty much all done. And here we are into a quite interesting town. Geosenge Town. Which is supposed to be like Stonehenge. But also has the name of the scientific study of rock. Yeah, I don't have to explain to you. I think you guys get it. Anyways, we have a few items you have to grab here, and we'll just run around and take a look and see what all we can uh, grab from the locals here. And then we'll uh, we'll take on the uh, the final fight here real quick. Yeah, the final fight, you know what I mean. We'll, uh, we'll do uh, what we can in this town here, so let's run up here. Oh, Team Flare's here already, never mind. Geosenge Town is the Town of Stones. Oh, okay. Why was there music note? Was he singing it like, Geosenge Town's the Town of Stones? Are you singing it like that, like a weird... You know, monk. Soft sand. All right. Also, another item we can grab here. So let's go ahead and run over here. Let me grab this. Where are you at? Yeah, okay. I can't get in here. I was about to be like, can I even get in here? And we got the timer ball. Okay, that's that's good with me. Let's put that in the cams. I could save this for next turn or next episode. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and do like the whole stone saga here. Let's see what we got over here. What do you have to say? You're a pretty sophisticated traveler if you're uh, here to check out the monument. I am, correct. At the Baroque here, you say, no, no, you don't get it. This town is uh, has nothing else, so it's obvious how amazing the stones are. It's kind of true. 
I do really like these log houses here. Kind of nice. Here, this pip streak team flare is gonna use the stone on Route 10 and fast uh, and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on their team happy. This world, the ones who have power are the ones who win the f with flare. Oh, it's more like a terrorist type of thing going on. King, is uh, was someone from Team Floyd ju here just now? Yeah, they were. He was here, but he isn't here anymore? Yeah, exactly. The only thing past here is a dead end. There's something very weird about Team Flare. Let's go see what if well, we can probably catch him if it's a dead end, right, Serena? What? It's an ancient artifact? I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's not a secret hideout at all from just the look of a freaking hidden uh, tree there. Oh my god. Oh, how dumb can our characters be? I'm just kidding. All right. Go ahead and see. What do we got here? Oh, it's another photo taking spot. How do you take the photo? No, I don't want call Phil the photo guy. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, these ancient stones are said to emit mysterious power. Now you come here and you're probably thinking like, what's the point of all this? Well, there is none right now. We'll be back here later on in the game. Don't you worry. Who are you? Someone said, uh, someone wandering for 3,000 years trying to find a Pokemon. I've heard the story about a man like that, but you can't believe everything you hear. I mean, I don't believe Pokemon are real, so what does that say about me? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and see. Uh, well, actually, we have a fight coming up here, so let's check out our team. What do I want leading off here? Because it might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Let me double check something real quick. Okay, I'm back and it looks like we're probably gonna want actually to finally use cookie We haven't used cookie in so long it seems So let's go ahead and put cookie up front and we have one more battle to finish off this episode here So let's go ahead and get it. Lucario, what are you doing? Yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough who it's gonna be Hey, you're that trainer from route 5. Arf. Yeah, we've come such a long way since then. Oh my god. Oh, whoops I got changes. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle you. Would you battle with us? I have two Lucario, but you know which one is the one that you, uh, has taken a shine to you. All right. And here we go. We're fighting Leader Corin. Corinna, yeah. I will have to take that pretty much. She, all she has is two Lucario, obviously, if you can tell. So that's why I brought a Talon Flame. I, I thought fight or I thought fighting was weak to um, flying. And they are. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and uh, and just use that. However, it may take us down here with its uh, special attack here. Was I wrong? Was I wrong in saying that that was uh, right? I may have been wrong. Okay, no, no, it's good. It's good. Chirped up a whirlwind. All right. Uh, do we have anything better than Peck? Because Peck really doesn't seem to be doing much here. What's it doing here? Special events. Okay. It, oh my God. Oh, there we go. Dude. Oh, it's a normal type. That's why. Okay, let's try Ember. What does Ember do? I may have to switch out here, honestly, to... Lizzie or something because I have like no good flying moves I just realized how, how do I have no good flying moves fire is super effective what okay let's let's switch up to Lizzie then and try out fire fang I'm actually really confused what I thought I thought I thought Lucara was fighting maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just dead wrong maybe it's a dark what I don't know this game <laughs> I don't know Pokemon at all let's use fire fang and try out that new move since that's Metal? Oh wait, is it part- is Lucario part metal? Is Lucario part metal? Why would he be metal? Yeah, what- What is Lucario, guys? Oh my god, okay, well, let's just keep on fire fanging down then. Oh my god. I, I, why am I so bad at- why am I so bad at Pokemon games, do I tell you what? Yeah, go ahead and use your sword dance. Please don't avoid it this time. I just want to hit him with the fire fang, please. Thank you. And good news, we have one more Lucario to take on here. Yeah, I thought he was steel. Maybe I'm just... Man, oh man, am I am I wrong? Hey, Amara grew to level 25. And Slippy's level 29. We're almost in the 30s. Are you kidding me? How are we almost level 30? We have two level 29 Pokemon by the end of this episode. That's ridiculous, dude. All right, let's go ahead and use Fire Fang again here. Power of Punch. Jesus. Calm down there, my friend. Oh, my God. That's got, like... You know, I like this soon. Oh, but it's super. Oh, it's a crit. Never mind. I was wondering, like, dude, it's super effective. Oh, it might kill me. Oh, that is unfortunate. We're not going to have two level 29 Pokemon in this episode. That's fine. Um, Who do we want to bring out here then? Let's go with Cookie. 
Let's go with Cookie because the power punch isn't gonna do much against Cookie because it's flying type. And let's just go with Ember. Uh, but it's not fire type. What am I doing? Or it's not, yeah, it's not a fighting type. Well, maybe it is. Power punch is a fighting type move for sure. I'm just gonna keep Emberin' it down. Let's see if we can do it here. Yeah, go ahead and hit me with your metal sound, dude. I don't really care. I don't need no special defense. You don't have any special moves. Man, what a fight. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go get lunch after this, so I'm like super, super hungry. I just have leftover pasta, dude, so I'm gonna go make that. These episodes are taking forever to record, though. They're gonna be like, all these episodes are gonna be like 30 minutes, I'm telling you. Going forward here. These routes are no joke. Especially if I want to get through this game in a timely manner, too. So, I just have to make sure I stay ahead. And Stabby grew to level 24. And we took out leader Corina. Corina. Is it Corina? Yeah, it's Corina. What? what? I mean, I have my ultra powerful Lucario duo could stand up to you? I do like the idea that, like, she's a gym leader and then has, you know, different sets of Pokemon. I think that's really cool to see, like, gym leaders actually do stuff. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader of Shallower City, right? Yeah, you're the next gym leader for us, actually, too. Once you get past the cave just beyond you, you'll be there. So stop by and say hello. Well, there we go. We start our next gym leader. So, um, I don't know. Should I go? Let's go back and heal so I can chat a bit more with you guys. I, would, I could just pause it, but I like chatting with you guys. You know, might as well. I'm not trying to pad out the length or anything. Just might as well talk with you guys here, but... But that means that we only have one more route and a cave left. And the route's not actually that long. It's just like a, it's like a cave entrance type route. So it shouldn't take that long here. Next episode will probably be mainly getting to Shallower City here. Since this episode took us so long already. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and see. Let's, should we go to Route 10 or should we leave it here? I like the peaceful rain ambiance here. Yeah, let's leave it here. So, okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode where we go through Reflection Cave and get to Shallower City. Until then, see ya.